Good evening and welcome to the Selectman's meeting of February 6th, 2018. First item is a salute to the flag. Do we have an approval of the agenda? Make a motion we approve the agenda. And I'll second that. All in favor? Uh, I'd like to approve the minutes of January 23rd. Make a motion for that. Make a motion we approve the 20th, January 23rd. And I'll second that motion. All in favor? I'd like to table um, the minutes of last week. Because I didn't read them yet. Okay. Um, department head committee chair updates. Anybody out there? <coughs> no. Okay, moving on to old business, the old patrol car. We did receive our check from the Sheriff's Department from the county for the $500, so that's been processed. Oh, yay. Great. Job description for land use. I'm looking for one more week of tabling that. Having trouble getting it formatted in the right. Okay. 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 Arnold Murray were an article follow-up follow up. so last week you guys told mr. Murray that uh, you would make a decision as to whether or not you were moving it forward based on the attorney's recommendation so mm -hmm. I think he's looking for that here's the actual article if you <coughs> we read this a couple weeks ago yeah I've read it yeah yep. so the attorney said that it was fine to move forward I believe was legal yep Yep. illegal and whatnot so um, I'll make a motion we approve it to move forward to the town warrant I'll second that any further discussion no I, I think so. something like this put it in front of the people yep let them make the decision I so, agree yep great all in favor Aye. so that'll be on the open town meeting the Saturday of June yep We'll Flat ground <laughs> in Buzzle Road. I uh, just wanted to double check on where the board stood with both of these roads so we could put some closure or some, um, or maybe some uh, additional information. I know we talked about turning one of them over maybe to the road committee, one of them to the townspeople. So just how did they end? <laughs> That's my question. <laughs> That's the question. All I want to know. Well, does do Buzzle Road have an end is the question um, and where that is, but... <laughs> Uh, I think we've decided to go ahead. Go ahead. I was going to say what we were talking about with Buzzle Road, putting that up speak to up the people. Him. I said with Buzzle Road, um, should we put it towards the people as far as trying to get a survey? You know, have a survey done to yeah. have it determine where exactly it ends. Because at this point, we <coughs> don't know where it's it ends. Created it a headache. <laughs> I've got nothing to say about Buzzle Road. You guys do whatever you. Oh, okay. So we'll finish Buzzle. Okay. So you want a warrant article? So first we need to get a, an estimate of a survey, and you um, you want another warrant article on the same warrant asking the townspeople to survey that road. See yes. if they want to approve. Yeah. See if they want to approve funding. spend. Yeah, funding yeah. to. Okay. Survey Buzzle Road so we can actually determine the end. Got it. Yep. And flat ground. We um, I thought we decided to put that back out to the people. It was voted. A long, long time ago to close it, and there's been um, misunderstandings that what people thought they were discontinuing it, but um, to put it back to the people to actually decide. To reverse the Re reverse reverse the, the decision that was made in was it 1960? I think it was. Uh, so, what exactly do you want the Warren article to say? We're asking them to adopt it as a town road, or we're asking them to discontinue and close it. What are you? What are we asking them to do? I thought oh, we had talked about dis uh, talked about just reversing the decision that was made in 1960 based on the fact that so the we don't know whether it was to close it or close it done close it or close it with the buzz and you know, with with the wording that people use today on it so so are we asking the so are we asking them to discontinue it again no no, no. we're no. asking them to close it to reverse the discontinuance or whatever however reverse it was worded in 1960 so it was a town road and from what it sounds like to me is they had 
voted to close it because the bridge was out. Yes. And it wasn't supposed to be permanently closed. Right. It was supposed to be closed temporarily till the bridge was put back, but which it never was. Right. Um, but it's still a town room. So if the townspeople vote to reverse the 1960 article, what is that going to do? Make town it a town road? road? It'll it open makes it, it a town okay. road. Sure. So essentially that is the question. Mm -hmm. Okay. Got it. Yeah. We just I mean, we'll probably go back, go around the wording a little bit more, but that, yeah, I'll turn that's the gist of it to start with. Okay. I'm sure the attorney will love that wording on that one. <laughs> and I would like to thank you guys very much. Thank you. Welcome. All right. That's three warrant articles. Good. Yeah. Okay. Sign town oh debit card policy so you guys reviewed this one last week uh, the changes we went from $25 to $100 and the only other change was the um, office manager town administrator position wording you weren't you weren't here <coughs> oh, yep. okay so we already voted wait you were here for that we talked about it too. Well, we've talked about it for the last couple yeah. of weeks. Okay. Couple we weeks. I don't yeah. think we actually made a vote yeah, on no, it. Yeah, no, I make don't a think yeah. so either. I'll so make it. Oh, I was just going to make sure. So it's always been a minimum of $25 in that right. account. And no one other accounts are tied on that one. We're increasing it to 100 100. So if something happens during the day, we can make an administrative decision up to $100 rather than 25 yeah. I'll make a motion that we approve the new town debit card policy. And I'll second that. All in favor. New business, deputy CEO appointment. So based on your decision over the last few weeks, I prepared the appointment for Brenda Charland. Um, to stay in line with the rest of the appointments, it is only through June 30th of 18. To Brenda Charland, the selectmen of the municipality of Acton do in accordance with the provisions of the laws of the state of Maine, hereby appoint you as deputy code enforcement officer within and for the municipality of Acton until June 30th, 2018, given under our hand the 6th day of February. Make a motion. We appoint Brenda Shallon to the Office of Deputy Code Enforcement Officer. I'll second that motion. All in favor. And on that note, while the board's discussing it, we are interviewing uh, three candidates tomorrow for the land use position. Right to redemption letter. So um, good news. We started with uh, 17, 18 foreclosure properties uh, in November. Uh, bad news is we still had one after the date came and went. Um, what prior boards have done in the past and certainly can make whatever decision you so choose um, to stop the foreclosure they have to pay the taxes for that particular year so they would have had to pay the 15 taxes to stop the foreclosure. Um, this property they were not paid so what we do is we create what they call a right to redemption letter where we give them um, an additional 30 days 60 days to pay off now all three tax years and essentially buy the property back so the property has to go on the town's insurance because it you own it now as of February 1st um, this is uh, a property that's um, in the heirs of a deceased person um, we are having trouble making contact. Uh, we've involved the sheriff's department, uh, reached out to the funeral homes. We're probably going to run something in the smart shopper, um, trying to make sure that the right people are notified. Um, but it's uh, unfortunately a bit of a family dispute. But this will give them until Tuesday, March 6th, to make the um, right to redemption, pay the three years. And there's a $250 administration fee, because at that point, the town has to discharge all of the liens, which is $17 per year on and off. So we, um, and then they put in administration fees for the work. So um, there's no reason to list, read her name out loud unless someone requests it, but um, until at least the end of the redemption period comes and goes, and then the board will need to decide what they want to do with the property. So I should read this out. Okay, so dear blank, this is to advise you that the period granted to you by law for the redemption of the tax mortgage lien for 2015 taxes upon real estate known as MAP, I can do that, 151 lot 16 located at 187 7th Street in the town of Acton has expired. The inhabitants of the town of Acton 
now have title to the property described above by virtue of automatic foreclosure of the lien recorded in the York County Registry of Deeds Book 17289, page 785. The lien ripened on February 1st, 2018. If you wish to repurchase the property, you must do so by Tuesday, March 16th, 2018 in full. The amount required is $5,870.26, which includes taxes, interest, and costs for the years 2015, 2016, and 2017. Please contact us at 636-3131, extension 401, or come in in person <coughs> to the town hall at your earliest convenience if you have any questions. Certified check, money order, or cash in the amount of $5,870.26 payable to the town of Acton must be rece received by the tax collector no later than 4 p.m. on Tuesday, March 6, 2018. Otherwise, the property will publicly be, will be publicly, publicly advertised and auctioned off. We regret having to take this action, but under the circumstances, we have no alternative. No further notice will be sent to you from this office prior to the notice of public advertisement for the auction of this property appearing in the newspaper. Make a motion we send the letter as written, as read. I'll second that. All in favor. Mm. Budget workshop. So the budget date came and went. We're in pretty good shape. <laughs> I don't call anybody out quite yet. Next Friday I will though. <laughs> um, We've got probably 90% of the, the town budgets in. Um, all of our social services and 501c3s came through, so that was good. Our method we used this year worked well electronically. So um, you guys essentially met with, uh, we met with the treasurer and I and kind of started going over some of the municipal management lines. Um, I'm still working on getting prices for some of the things that you wanted, but I um, was hoping that you could set another date that we could have a three or four o'clock workshop to look at it now that more numbers are plugged in and start deciding how a draft is going to look. D Mondays seem to work best for you, Ed, Ed and you. <coughs> yeah, I can do that. I, yep. Any day is good. So. Yep. I can't do three. I can do four. You can do four? Okay. Yep. How about um, the 19th of February? Looks for me. Yep. I'll clear it with the treasurer and send you an email. Um. Yep. It's President's Day. Are you open in the office that day? Well, we're, it's Monday, so we're not open anyways, but we are here working. <laughs> President's Day is not one of our days off? No. Well. We need to relook at that. It's Monday. <laughs> it doesn't matter anyways. It doesn't affect <laughs> most of the staff. We still got to. Okay. It's fine. Okay, public comment. It says nothing to do with the roads. Dennis Long, uh, nothing to do with the roads. I was wondering, uh, the town reports aren't out yet, are they? No. no. We are into our eighth month after the year end. What's going on? What's going on? Well, we had some people departments that didn't get their reports in that we were waiting for um, we usually ask for reports by usually October 1st but they're all in right they're in and the uh, as soon as they were in the draft you guys reviewed the entire draft yep the changes had been made um, and there's another draft waiting for you so okay. it, it's essentially ready for print um, we had uh, two staff members out all last week, so it got moved down right. some, but um, it's ready. It, it's, it's just that with the budget season coming and things like that, it it, it's good yep. to have uh, the audit Once you report. send it to print, they're quick, right? Yeah, and it actually it's a good question for him to bring up. We've been talking about how many we're actually going to print, because every year we end up with lots of boxes. Too many. Too many. So in the past, we've always printed, uh, I'm going to say it's 1,500. I mean, you want to try to cut that number in half? In half. Yeah. Okay. Did you end up with about half left over? Or yeah. More, more I mean, you half? could probably even, we could do 500 and, 
you know, we can put an electronic version on the website. Yep. And um, it's not like we couldn't order more if we needed, but we have boxes. I, mean, I think that's a good idea. Thanks, yeah, Dennis. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Oh, I have a public announcement. If it's, I mean, oh, actually, you're on public comment. Sorry. Any more public comments? I'm ahead of myself. Public comments. Okay. Um, so announcements. We have the ambulance bid that's due on February 13th. Are there any other announcements? How did it? Did anybody go to the sledding party? Just want to thank. Um, I saw pictures. Looks like Terry they had Minahan fun. Like they had fun. Yeah. and um, Acton in motion for putting that on. I didn't get to see it, but I'm glad there was a little enough snow on the hill for the kids to to sled on. Um, we are going to be putting on a spaghetti dinner. We meaning our staff and neighbors helping neighbors. It's going to be on. It's a couple of weeks away, but I think we can pull it off. Uh, Friday, February 23rd, which happens to be the birthday of the person that we're going to be benefiting. Um, it's going to uh, be from four to seven. I'll give you more information next week, but essentially we have a um, a family that's been in in, in town. Um, I think pretty much Ed all of their lives, all of his life at least. Yeah, I don't know who you're talking about. Uh, all of his life. Yes. Thank you. All of his been life. Here. And she's been here. So I don't want to release a name oh, yet. I, know who you're talking about, I may yes. not pronounce yeah. her last name right, and I, I've already learned my lesson from that. So um, we'll have more information next week. But um, and I love live TV. I forgot to ask you guys in the workshop. So. This is the perfect time. So our idea is, if it's a spaghetti dinner, we're going to have, you know, tons of pasta, obviously, cooking. And I want to have, like, at least four of those big, the big cookers ones. of different sauces so people can, you know, have a meat one, a regular one. The fire department's already signed up for what they're calling a loaded sauce, you know, all the veggies and meats and everything. I have somebody that's signed up for the white sauce. But I thought that maybe the Board of Selectmen could come together and do one of our sauces. Like in a crock pot? Or well, like a big crock like pot. The big big ones, right. Right. So really, you just need to decide who's in charge of cooking it. Kim, everybody give a little money and she'll whip up a sauce. I'll give you money. Sounds yeah. good. I'll second that. So okay. Otherwise, it'll be vegetarian. Do you want meatballs? Or do well, we want we'll talk meatballs? about that off the record, but okay. I got you committed to one big thing of sauce. Yep. Yeah. Sure. Perfect. Sure. Thank you. Sure you don't want any kidney beans? No. God, we're beaned <laughs> out. No. Someone's <laughs> mentioned, why are we doing bean suppers? <laughs> so right. please try well, to schedule fine. it. This is a, um, a family in Acton, like I said, that she's... Um, Recently on hospice, she is very young, late 40s, I would say, and um, is, is um, yep. well, Lois, I haven't quite decided that yet. I'm going to say somewhere around seven, eight dollars. I mean, that's usually average for an all-you-can-eat spaghetti and got salad and desserts, and um, but I'll have a flyer and everything next week. We just committed to the date today, so we're just trying to help the family with some expenses as her time narrows. <laughs> <laughs> it was probably 1965, Dennis. <laughs> Anyways, thank you. Thanks. Okay, moving on to upcoming meetings. Uh, February 13th, the Board of Selectmen meet at 5. February 15th, the Planning Board meets at 7. And also that is Ed's night, 7 to 8 for office hours. We swapped this month. Um, February 20th, Board of Selectmen at 5. February 22nd, Cemetery Committee at 5. And again, on the 22nd, the Rec Committee is meeting at 7. Are they still looking for members to join their committee? Mm, uh, maybe one, but not many. OK. Um, I have a couple other ones, too, that we didn't quite make it on there. Um, both of the parties are starting to list their caucuses out. Uh, I believe the Republican caucus is going to be on Saturday, February 24th. The Democratic caucus is going to be on Sunday, March 4th. Um, a reminder to the board, too, that uh, the marijuana committee is going to be back on the 13th um, to quiz you on that packet that they left <laughs> you. So um, make sure we're ready for that. Does, okay. Do the caucuses have a time? Uh, they're both different, and, and they're, the caucuses will advertise them. Okay. I um, mean, I have them on my schedule because I'm required to be there, but I don't know off the top of my head. You know, the Democrats are usually around 4 o'clock. Republicans are at the Biddeford High School, I think, but... Reach out to your caucus or your party chair. They can give you all the details. Okay. All set. All set. Do we have a motion to adjourn? Make a motion we adjourn. I'll second that. All in favor. Good night.